Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the model shop. Uh, so it's been a little while, but uh, we're back to working on the Mo. Uh, in this episode, we're going to cover a couple things. First of all, we're going to go ahead and start working on the main superstructure starting at the main deck. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do some of the photo etch ladders, uh, get some initial painting done, and we're going to get the uh, wooden deck applied, which you can kind of see here. Um, to just the main deck portion of the superstructure and work through some of that stuff. Um, so we'll cover that in detail. Uh, the other thing I wanted to share with everyone was a big breakthrough I had in working with Photo Etch. Uh, this tip actually came from my wife. I was talking to her about how I have trouble picking up small pieces of Photo Etch and attaching them and moving them around. Typically what I do is I take a toothpick and apply a little piece of sticky tack to it and then I take that and I pick up my little piece of photo etch and stick it to where I want to glue things. And she turned me on to these. And what we have here, uh, they're actually for uh, women who, uh, who work on nails and attach jewelry and things to nails. They need to be able to figure out a way to pick up a little jewel and stick it on a uh, person's fingernail. This is a wax pencil. Literally, this is just wax on the end. Uh, you could sharpen it with, you know, a little pocket knife, or you can go ahead and stick it right in a pencil sharpener. It puts a nice point on it, just like a pencil. But it's wax, and it's fantastic. You go ahead and just touch your piece of photo etch, lift up the pencil, and it's stuck to it, just barely. But it won't come loose. So you could put your glue where you want, or move your piece, and then take the pencil and touch it there. The glue sets up in half a second. You let go. The pencils let go because it's just wax and your piece is in place. It's fantastic. Uh, I bought a pack of 10 of these things on Amazon for, I think, $8 or something like that. I'm going to put a link down below so you guys can go ahead and check those out. Anyway, um, yeah, not a, not a lot of major content here tonight, but uh, I felt like a lot got done because suddenly I'm working with uh, big pieces again and we're moving along. Still working on the Royal King Cannons, like I said before. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time every couple of days so that when I get to the point where it's time to install them, uh, we could go ahead and do that. Uh, so anyway, that's it. I'm glad to see everybody. Let's get into the build. So as we start out with, I think this is deck one, uh, working our way up. <laughs> the instructions are pretty simple. Uh, you've got some random parts that you need to install. and. Ironically, the uh, kit supplied photo etch uh, gets put on here, which is fine. You've got some hatches and doors and things that couldn't be molded um, when they made it. Like these parts right here, they weren't going to fit, uh, you know, on the mold block. So you, you put all them on. And there's like a door in this back corner. So anyway, uh, yeah, stuff like that. So in the back here, though. Uh, you get these pieces, they end up getting installed like so, uh, but I went ahead early on here and you could see shaved off kind of in this area the uh, stairs, or sorry, the ladders, I don't know if you can make that out, and there's jigs in the Pontos kit that you put on here and drill holes to um, put the ladder rungs in place. So I thought, well, I can either glue these on then put the jig on and deal with it or take advantage of the fact that this piece is loose get the jigs on drill holes so that's what we're going to do um, the biggest challenge i'm running into so far with this because there's about four pages five pages in the instruction manual to assemble all this is what's going to be the best order because i'd like to get all this detail around here on so i can get a primer coat of paint on just to see how everything looks uh, i've left off all the oxygen tanks and things like that They'll get painted and added later, but then we need to get the wood deck on. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a puzzle. I'm trying to figure out what is the right step uh, and when to do it. So and obviously the ladders are going to be fragile once I get them installed. If I have any luck with that, so um, yeah, let's we'll at least get these drilled, then in, then the piece installed, then painted, and we'll press on from there. All right, just a quick peek with the old wobbly cam here. Uh, that's the template. It's uh, flipped over, but as you can see, I got the holes drilled, and we need to do the next one here. But uh, it worked out really well. I just um, threw it up here. 
like that. Put uh, tape on it to hold it in place. Ran my drill in, and there we go. So I'm hoping now, obviously I have to do the rest of them, uh, and I'm hoping that I won't cover those holes up or that the, at least they'll be easy to see uh, once they're painted so we can put the ladder rungs on. Or, well, I guess more appropriate, it would be more appropriate to install the ladder rungs and then I'll paint it. So, yeah, I guess the reason I'm saying that, thinking out loud here, is I'd like to minimize touching things like this while the deck's on. So, uh, yeah, I don't. I guess I gotta decide: am I gonna put these on and be careful and not bust them off, and then work with the rest of this? I don't know. This is this is where things start to get complicated. All right, pressing on. All right, one more thing here. Uh, so this is piece J twenty two. F-22, F-22, uh, this is the little piece that goes on like so, you get the idea, uh, if I flip it over and put it on the right way, it goes like this, there, it goes like this, you drill the holes, anyway, I had problems, it didn't want to fit that photo etch, well, it turns out on the instructions, this piece, J-49, the uh, Pontos intends for you to use this piece of photo etch and drill your holes first before attaching J29, that block. And so what I had to do, you can see it's not perfectly straight anymore. I actually cut off some of the photo etch to allow this thing to fit. So that's just a little gotcha that um, I didn't know about for the Pontos kit when you're drilling the holes right there. Don't install this piece first, otherwise the template won't fit. Hopefully I didn't shoot myself in the foot in too many other places with that. That's what we got for now. All right, here we are. The first group of ladders rungs are installed. Uh, I think they look pretty good. Uh, notice, if you look carefully, some of them, especially on the right, aren't exactly the right width. They all came off the same spot, but uh, for some reason, are a little bit narrower. Um, not particularly worried about this. You're not going to be able to tell, especially once they're painted. Uh, and when you're looking at them from like here, you know, no one's going to really care. Uh, so anyway, I just thought I'd take a picture of them uh, before we move on to painting them. And of course I have to do this a gazillion more times. There are, however, let's move over here to the instructions. This spot uh, so, in this corner here, you can go ahead and drill holes and put these in again, or just go ahead and opt in for using the folded ladders. I'm probably going to opt for the folded ladders, just because this is such a tight spot, it'll be difficult to drill and install them, and this will save a ton of time, and this will leave a ton of extras that I will inevitably lose somewhere. So anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do. Let's press on and get some more holes drilled. All right, here's the other side. Ladders are on real quick. Same same thing as before, but quickly I wanted to point out that they are all the same size. I uh, mistakenly said, well, I wasn't mistaken. I said on the other one that they, uh, some of them are different sizes. The reason for that is on the photo etch, these on the top are a different number than the ones that are on the bottom, and I was simply just going up and down the row, cutting them out. So I realized my mistake and just cut across here to make sure that I could keep them separated. Hopefully, uh, those six aren't going to cause a problem later on, but uh, I think we could work through it if that happens. So anyway, uh, easy peasy mistake that could be made by everybody else. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think they're looking good. So we'll continue on here. So as we move along, I went ahead and installed uh, these back three pieces right here and just wanted to show kind of the fit. Um, so right up in this corner right here, let's get it in the shot. It fit pretty well. And then uh, back here, this corner fits exceptionally well and we didn't have any issues there. But when we came over to the front, well, sorry, the uh, this would be the starboard side, I was able to get a nice tight joint here, but in doing so, I had to sacrifice this area right in here. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap right there. We'll end up filling that with some putty. And then, of course, the uh, next level, 
I threw on top of here to reference the fit like so and you can see right there there's a little bit same area uh, another gap right in here we'll, we'll have to fill that and a little bit on top but um, this whole thing fits generally speaking really well uh, we've got some more parts that go on the top back here so we've got some gaps right here that I may end up filling maybe but we also have uh, let's zoom out a little bit there's an entire structure that goes in here and we have some gun tub mounts that go right there and we also have the wood deck that we have to install as well and that's gonna come along here so um, basically I'm done with all of this initial fitting right along here now I do want to point out uh, for some of you lose your minds I am leaving the porthole eyebrows the plastic ones as you see here uh, in place I'm not going to replace them with the Pontos kits and the reason for that is uh, if you look you can, you can see the little eyebrows they are pronounced just fine uh, if I show you this reference picture I, I took a photo myself earlier last summer in the spring I think or maybe it was the year before this is the battleship Wisconsin uh, you can see the real ones here they're pretty pronounced and they look just like the kit ones my concern is that the replacement Pontos ones will be too flat and it's just a lot of work for something that is already really well molded uh, I did put the spool on here instead of using the Ponto one. Um, yeah, it just saved a step. Uh, I am going to leave the molded on um, fire hoses in place and the doors. The reason for this is these look really nice. I'm going to turn this, see if I can get another example right there for you. And not only uh, that, the detail is pretty good on them. And when you look at the ones provided uh, from Pontos, that really, I guess I would be smoothing these off and laying the photo etch on flat. But the detail is kind of lost. And these have little raised edges and everything. I think you could see right here. They're all vary a little bit. They look really sharp and you're gonna lose that detail um, with the photo etch and so I you know and oh and also we have this life ring the Pontos has replacement life rings and uh, photo etch you can wrap around here but I mean look how well these are molded so I gotta I have to deal with the fact that um, there's a lot of work for that little bit of detail that's already molded extremely well and I'm already putting a ton of work into uh, the guns and other details that you will see and especially uh, when you look at like you know the ladders in the back right here and I do have to put ladders right here and same spot on the other side those get to get installed here so we'll put those on and then um, take a look at getting the deck fitted and there's also detail that goes around uh, the number two turret here uh, citadel area uh, that photo etch is going to get put installed next so anyway that's kind of where we're at here and I wanted to point out originally at this whole segment uh, the little fit issues here in the back just so you guys are aware of that all right that's enough babbling on let's press on as we move along here, you can see that I've got the uh, deck painted. This weather deck blue, this is in preparation for applying our wood deck, which the pieces we've got uh, cut out there. And I also went ahead and hit uh, the light blue along the edges that we talked about earlier. That's just the first coat, um, our initial base coat. we got to do all the detail painting, take care of the portholes, uh, all the firefighting equipment, everything like that. Also, um, it really irked me that I had the wrong size rungs uh, in a couple of spots. So as you can see there, hopefully, by the brass ones, I removed them. going to paint them. I took the smaller sized ones out and put them somewhere safe for use where they're supposed to go. So we're going to work on some of the detail painting now, like 
hitting up the uh, hoses right there and the portholes need to be blacked out uh, before we put the glass in them and yeah stuff like that and as the deck blue paint dries and sets up here we'll then go ahead and install the wood decking moving along so the forward part of the deck here is the first wood piece that I want to put on and it's anchored into position right here by this little square and then uh, we had some fit issues right along here and on this side it fit really well and I went ahead and made little trims here so that it's all good to go. Uh, it also fits, it, you can't see it here but I'll show it later, extremely tied up against the forward number two turret. Uh, so. I'm going to go ahead and pop this part off because we don't need it and although I've done videos on this before I figured I'd show it again uh, this is the Pontos wood deck there's lots of kits out there like it and as you can see in the back it's got this glossy sticky adhesive back to it um, this is not how you should glue down your deck if you peel this off and you stick it on here, it'll stick down for a minute or two and then immediately it'll start to peel up, especially around the edges. So the workaround is to use Gorilla Wood Glue and I've since changed how I do this um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to peel off this plastic and then apply the Gorilla Wood Glue directly to uh, the wood back here and smudge it around and get it as even as I possibly can then go ahead and stick it down and just work it into position with my fingers so let's go ahead and do all that uh, for some of these smaller areas right here I do have a little kind of sacrificial brush even though this stuff's water soluble that I'll use to get the glue nice and evenly applied uh, to those areas so nothing too crazy here Do the peel. And I'll start applying the glue. Alright, Woods of Glue is applied. I have way more glue than I actually want on here. On one hand, I, I did want this much uh, to kind of break through the adhesion of the glue that's on here provided by the kit. I wanted to make sure that the wood glue was making firm contact with the wood uh, and not just sticking to the glue adhesive back that is definitely going to fail. So you need kind of a lot extra for that, but it's definitely going to be way too much uh, when I apply it to the kit. So I'm just going to use this popsicle stick and remove some of the extra excess so that you have, and there's still going to be some extra on here, but you have this nice you know, even coat. We don't have too much coming through on the other side. This stuff dries clear and you can wipe it off with a damp towel. So let's get stuck on it here. Once it's down, all you gotta do is start working it in with your fingers. You can see right there we had some excess extra. Just wipe that off. Q-tip, or sorry, toothpick here to go ahead and pick up some of that excess glue. 
This gets something glued on top of it, I'm sure, but I'm gonna try and keep it neat. Throw this back up on top. Because I do want to double check my fit in a couple areas. And that's about all she wrote. Alright, let's take another look here. And uh, we'll look a little closer at how it turned out. Okay, so here's the forward deck installed. And as you can see, what we're looking at is kind of right up in there straight ahead. Uh, the fit around the, I think that's deck two. Um, and there's a gap right here because we have uh, another piece that gets attached to there. So anyway, that's the fit that we're looking for. And as you can see here, this looks really great around the forward um, turret and over here we've got a really nice fit worked out for us out of the box so not bad the next thing we have to do is install the pieces that run on the port and starboard side right here uh, they require a little bit of trimming up in the front and I think in the very back on the other side so I'm going to do that off camera it's the same thing uh, and we'll come back to you with them installed. So here we go, deck's installed. Uh, sorry the furnace is running, but anyway, the point is, you can see here, the fit is nice along all of our edges, just like we want. There's very little excess sticking out anywhere. The seams look good, uh, and it fits nicely. Both sides, of course. So this is just the preliminary steps here. Uh, you can see the same thing. It doesn't fit identically side to side, but it's just really hard to tell unless you're really up close and examining each piece super, super carefully. And again, the fit looks nicer. So, uh, so the detail along here is not done yet. We're nowhere close to have taken care of all that. And of course we also have to apply the deck stain up on top here. And then we have to start working on uh, the next deck, moving our way up. And there's a lot more structure and things that get involved here. I'm actually planning on treating this kind of like a separate model. So really we're like right there right now. And I actually think I'm going to hold off uh, doing any more at this point because I want to stain this deck probably at the same time as I stain the parts of that deck. So they're all done kind of in one sitting and then we'll put this together. Also any little last adjustments or changes that need to be made to the uh, deck can be done and we have all this detail and things like that along the sides to work on. So uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. But like I said we are making progress and I am working on the uh, Orlikan Cannon still just a little at a time doing one here and there. Uh, last peak here, our ladder rungs in the back look much, much better now that they are all the same sizes on this side and reworked. But we've got a lot of painting and detail to do, to do still. So uh, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate your patience. But now we're finally starting to make some uh, big headway again here. I think we're going to see some big assemblies come along over the holidays. So, All right. See you all soon.